Jason, I yeah. have to ask you. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Oh, nice. That was good. Yeah, that was thank good. you. I'm yeah. doing great because a new auction of items from Friends is celebrating the long-running hit sitcom's 30th anniversary. That kicks off our Hot Topics for today, brought to you by Peter Pan at Walton Art Center. So a collection of costumes, props, and memorabilia from the beloved sitcom is up for bidding now online. And the items include various things like Rachel Green's sweater, Phoebe Buffay's iconic embroidered coat, a studio-made central perk couch, oh. and a sign recreation. And according to the auction specialist, there are already a lot of interest in the items, and they've gone way over the estimates already. Okay. So of course. I'm, I'm excited. Look at the. I think there's Chandler's uh, big sweater over there. Yeah. Uh, obviously not that. But um, I, you know, I, it's just exciting. I can't it believe is. it's been 30 years. Hey, and if you can't get an item from this, you need to pivot. 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 <laughs> oh to something else. Uh, oh, exciting. I know Friends me. fans are going to be excited about that. We'd Absolutely. Alyssa Milano took a bow in her first curtain call for Chicago on Broadway. It was a rapturous first curtain call for the musical on Monday as the actress made her Broadway debut as Roxy Hart. The Charmed star said, quote, to finally be making my Broadway debut in the role of Roxy Hart in the iconic musical Chicago and to stand on the shoulders of such honorable lineage is all that a little girl who loved to sing and dance and make people smile could have ever dreamt of. Aww. End quote. I love that. The show does run through November the 10th, so congrats. Kicking off with such a great start. Standing ovation, love to see that support. I love that. I love seeing all of these big stars go to Broadway yeah, too. Yeah, for I just, sure. That's super exciting. I wish I could see that one. I don't think we're going to have a chance to Aww. get up there before November 10th, but man, maybe, that maybe would it'll so extend. Cool. Maybe, maybe. Well, this is pretty sad to me. So Wendy Williams' team has asked the court for all proceeds from her Lifetime docuseries to fund her medical care. So here's the story. So Lifetime released a documentary about Wendy showing her deteriorating mental and physical health. And she received roughly $82,000 for her participation in the projects. But now her team is suing the company, deeming the compensation insignificant for the use of highly invasive, humiliating footage that portrays her in the confusing throes of dementia. Her team also stated that the company viciously and shamelessly exploited her for their own profit. Mm. So sad for this. I, I hate, you know, that Wendy Williams has gone through this. I feel like we've kind of watched her health deteriorate mm -hmm. towards the end of her show. Um, and now kind of hearing this news that she was kind of exploited. I, I don't know. I just, I hate it for her. I really hate it. Yeah, I hate I agree with you, Mackenzie. It's, mm. it, that's rough. Yes. Yeah. Well, we mentioned last week that the upcoming HBO series of Harry Potter was holding a casting call, and recently there's been some buzz about who might take on the role as the iconic Dark Lord, shall I say his Ooh. name? Uh, I'll say it real quick. I dare you. Voldemort. <laughs> on the fan circuit, Killian Murphy's name repeatedly emerges with a consensus among the Potter faithful that he would incredibly suit the role of he who must not be named. As, the, as of right now, these are just rumors. Of course, mm. nothing has been confirmed, but one fan on X wrote, Killian Murphy as Voldemort, that's a game changer. I mean, I know that fans get excited all the time about totally. people that they want to see uh -huh. in those iconic roles. I don't know if it would actually come to fruition, but man, I... I, I think would, he would be amazing. Oppenheimer? Though, you know? Yes. Uh, Tommy Shelby from Peaky Blinders? I mm -hmm. mean, come on, get him in there. Uh, he would be amazing in that role. Yeah, so. it's exciting. Fingers crossed, I suppose, yeah. for that to actually happen.